The black hole located at the center of the Milky Way bears a striking resemblance to the shape of a football. Greetings everyone! Today's video focuses on the remarkable phenomenon surrounding Sagittarius A, the black hole situated at the core of our very own Milky Way galaxy. Recent research, led by the esteemed Professor of Physics, Ruth Daly from Penn State Berks, has unveiled an intriguing discovery. This cosmic entity is spinning at an astonishing rate. By analyzing X-ray and radio data, the team determined that the black hole's angular velocity reaches approximately 60% of its maximum potential. As the black hole spins, it exerts a profound influence on the fabric of space-time, causing it to take on a flatter, football-like shape. Furthermore, this spin can generate an incredible amount of energy, potentially leading to powerful outflows if matter exists in close proximity to the black hole. Now, without any further delay, let us delve into our discussion on this captivating subject. The research, spearheaded by Ruth Daly, a distinguished physics professor at Penn State Berks, has been officially published in the renowned monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. Situated at the heart of the galaxy, approximately 26,000 light-years distant from Earth, is a colossal black hole known as Sagittarius A. Astronomers have sought to ascertain the rotational velocity of this celestial entity by examining its fundamental characteristics, specifically its mass, through the utilization of a technique outlined in a publication by Daly in 2019 in the Astrophysical Journal. This method involves analyzing X-ray and radio data to evaluate the movement of matter towards and away from the black hole. Daly expressed that our research has the potential to provide a resolution to the inquiry regarding the velocity at which the supermassive black hole in our galaxy is rotating. The outcomes of our study suggest that Sagittarius A is undergoing a remarkably swift rotation, a fact that is both intriguing and holds significant consequences. Upon their discovery, the team determined that Sagittarius A's angular velocity, which represents the number of revolutions per second, is approximately 60% of the maximum attainable value. This limit is established due to the fundamental constraint that material cannot surpass the speed of light. Various techniques and astronomers have previously attempted to estimate the speed of Sagittarius A, yielding a range of results from no rotation whatsoever to spinning at nearly its maximum rate. According to Daly, this particular work indicates the potential for change in the event that there is an increase in the amount of material surrounding Sagittarius A. When a black hole undergoes rotation, it exerts a gravitational force on both nearby matter and space-time, which encompasses the dimensions of space and time. This gravitational pull also causes a compression of space-time, resulting in a change in its configuration depending on the perspective from which it is observed. If viewed from above, the shape of space-time appears circular, while from a lateral viewpoint, it resembles that of a football. It is worth noting that the degree of spin directly influences the flatness of the football-like shape. According to Daly, the rotational motion of a black hole can also function as a means of generating energy, provided that there is some form of matter like gas or the remnants of a star in close proximity. This matter can escape from the black hole in the form of focused jets known as collimated outflows. However, the black hole at the center of Sagittarius A has not been very active in recent thousands of years due to the scarcity of nearby matter resulting in the production of weak, collimated outflows. When material approaches a spinning black hole, it resembles the preparation of a rocket on a launch pad, explained Binny Sebastian, a co-author from the University of Manitoba in Winnipeg, Canada. The proximity triggers a surge of energy akin to fueling the rocket and initiating the launch sequence. In the future, if there are alterations in the properties of matter and the intensity of the magnetic field in the vicinity of the black hole, there is potential for an escalation in the strength of the outflows propelled by the immense energy derived from the black hole's rotation. The origin of this material could be either gas or the remnants of a star that has been torn apart by the gravitational pull of the black hole, if the star ventures too near to Sagittarius A. 
Co-author Megan Donoghue from Michigan State University emphasized the significant impact that jets propelled and directed by a spinning central black hole within a galaxy can have on the availability of gas for the entire galaxy. This, in turn, has a direct influence on the speed and even the possibility of star formation. The presence of the Fermi bubbles observed in X-rays and gamma rays surrounding the black hole at the center of our Milky Way provides evidence of its past activity. Consequently, measuring the spin of our own black hole serves as a crucial test to validate this hypothesis. The phenomenon known as Fermi bubbles, which emit gamma rays both above and below the black hole, are believed by researchers to be a consequence of previous significant outflows. By employing the outflow technique, the scientists were able to ascertain the rotation of Sagittarius A asterisk. Daly's method encompasses an examination of the interplay between the black hole's spin, its mass, the characteristics of the matter in its vicinity, and the properties of the outflow. The emission of radio waves stems from the focused outflow, while X-rays are emitted by the gas disk encircling the black hole. To ascertain the spin of the black hole, the researchers combined data gathered from Chandra and the VLA with an independent estimation of the black hole's mass obtained from other telescopes, thereby enhancing the effectiveness of the outflow approach. Co-author Anand Lu from McGill University in Montreal, Canada, explained that Sagittarius A holds a unique position as the closest supermassive black hole to us. While it currently remains dormant, our research indicates that it possesses the potential to exert an immensely forceful impact on its surroundings. This eventuality could unfold within the span of a thousand years, a million years, or even within our own lifetimes. Alongside the previously mentioned individuals, the list of co-authors also includes Christopher O'Dea from the University of Manitoba and Daryl Haggard from McGill University. The management of the Chandra program falls under the responsibility of NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. Science operations are overseen by the Chandra X-ray Center, which is located in Cambridge, Massachusetts, while flight operations are conducted from Burlington, Massachusetts. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.